Okay, so I bought these stools off of uh, Facebook Marketplace that I'm going to use as plant stands, kind of similar to this. Hey, this is Rama from Creations Landscape Designs on the Everyday Landscapes blog. So I thought I'd do an updated patio tour because some things have changed. But before I show you what my patio looks like, I make videos about drought tolerant plants, California native plants, landscape design, sustainability, and anything and everything in between. So if you'd like to get more of that content in your feed, then hit the red subscribe button. I'm also a residential landscape designer, so I'll have a link to my business website in the description of the video. And thank you for being here to those of you that are regular viewers of my channel. I really appreciate it. All right, let me turn this camera around. Okay, so you enter up here. Um, this was my previous raised garden bed that I'm actually going to sell on Facebook Marketplace. And a spider of some sort. I have lots of those. So, this piece was inside and I brought it out because it's now my potting bench which is perfect because in here I did have extra soil which I used and then I have some gardening tools and whatnot in here etc. I added some more plants and more plants and more plants. Found this Frigeria at Tree of Life. I can't remember the exact species, but I mean, wow. So my plants are a mixture of California native plants, edible California natives, and edible non-natives. This one's called Salvia Clevelandiae Aromas. Now it's not going to get too tall being here because it's contained in a pot. And all the salvias I have in my garden, which of which I have four, are the aromas. This is the Galvisia Jansia Gran Canon, which I also have one here and back there. In this pot, it's combined with another salvia and a Howard McMinn Manzanita. And this is also a Howard McMinn Manzanita. Now, ideally, <coughs> I should probably trim both of those, but I don't mind that they're in my face and kind of in my way. I actually don't mind that. So yeah. The bench that was here I made smaller. Well, took off the top of it, gave it to my neighbor, and then made it smaller with a different top. Same legs. Because it just became much easier and the other one was just spider magnet. Well, and also it just became too big and cumbersome. I have to tend with this olive, fruitless olive. I don't know the variety. Um, it's on the HOA property, so I can't do anything to it. Maybe at some point they'll trim it. I should probably tell them, but but I actually also like that it's kind of providing some shade, minus the mess. And so yeah. Oh. The, some of the things I added, other than solar lights and some new plants, was this uh, stool, reminiscent of those vintage old school stools, plus this one, which I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I just thought it was cool to use them as plant stands, and that's also part of why I have um, this pot kind of on this bench. It's just meant to be more decorative. I got this green chair and the matching pair like 10 years ago or I don't remember when exactly off of Craigslist I believe so I don't want to get rid of them. I love them and so I figured this one could kind of act as a plant stand ish. And then the other things I want to add to this. Oh I also added a new uh, a blanket, some decorative pillars. This one actually needs to be reversed. Oops. There we go. Um, I want to add something similar to this all along here.
here to create the illusion of privacy. The only problem is this was made by a company called Greenbow and can't find the company anywhere online anymore in terms of their product being sold. So I guess their product went out of business and then I had some strawberries in here that just didn't do well. One of the issues I've been having is regularly watering my garden. You know, but hey, par for the course, right? Gardening is a science lab. You play around and see what works and see what doesn't. So yeah. <clears throat> I will have a list of all the plants that are in my garden as best as I can remember in the description below and in the actual blog post. The solar string lights and these solar lights I got at uh, Home Goods. And then, oh, I'll have a link to this as well. This is the original painting that was gifted to me by a company called Photowall that inspired the color palette for this vase, hence this rug. But yeah. Um, I will do another updated video in a few months because I'm sure it'll evolve as I add more things. So yeah, this is my current patio update. And I absolutely love it. It's just perfect for me. Now, ideally, I wish that I had actual land to garden in. I mean, what I would love to do is take this Raphaelepis that's in the front here and completely chuck it. Hold on, let me give you a better view of it. Because I don't love this plant, but... And then I'd replace it with some sort of California native. But, this is HOA maintained and I can't do jack diddly to it. So, there's that. <laughs>